Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well. So this reading is going to be about um, the murder of David Rainey. He was a 54-year-old man from Florida who was found stabbed to death in a canal in Suwanee uh, in July 2021 while on vacation with his wife, his two sons, and a family friend. Um, on October the 25th, his wife and two sons were arrested and charged with tampering with evidence in his death um, by the Dixie County Sheriff's Office. So what happened was before David was found dead, he was reported missing by his wife, Cindy, and that was on July 25th, 2021. She said that he had left the vacation house that they were staying in um, after having an argument um, without any of his belongings. He was later found in the canal behind the house with multiple stab wounds. Um, and they, the, de the sheriff's office uh, determined that he had been placed in the water after he was already dead because there was no water in his lungs. He died of a perforated heart. Um, his death was ruled a, so a homicide. So far, no one has been charged with his murder. What is interesting is that a wrongful death lawsuit had, um, was filed on July 21st um, of last year, and it claims that Cindy Rainey, David's wife, was having an affair with her boss, a real estate broker named Jeff Sawyer, who was also staying at the vacation house with the Rainies. Um, it, so Sawyer, Jeff Sawyer filed a counterclaim stating that Rainey tried to kill him after discovering the affair between himself and Cindy. In the lawsuit, it says that Bailey Rainey, who was David Rainey's son, um, her his girlfriend called 911 because Sawyer was injured. Apparently, he was stabbed very severely it required surgery so you'd think that that would be something that could be investigated by the police um the lawsuit states that everyone in the house helped participate in the disposal of david's body um the lawsuit also alleges that cindy is the one who killed um, David, but in self-defense. All of these allegations have been denied. Um, the reason that Cindy and the two sons have been charged with tampering with evidence was be because there was a large amount of blood in the house and on the dock outside in the backyard that appeared to have been cleaned up. This case seems strange. Anyways, so this reading is going to be about who really killed David Rainey. Bottom of the deck, Harmony. So this was definitely about a romantic relationship. This was definitely about a lover's quarrel. I feel like Sawyer and Cindy were the ones that came up with the plan. And, and the story. I have to apologize because I have issues with audio right now and I can't fix it. So please bear with me. 
shadow, which is the moon in reverse, and discontent and boredom. There is well-known evidence that there was issues in the marriage. Get is like everyone knew about the affair except for except for David I feel like even the sons knew the waiting game in reverse and foundations and achievements This is the Two of Wands and this is the Four of Wands. I think that like... I think that Cindy and... planning on living together yeah I just checked with his name um I don't want to get uh, we're planning on living together but and like having a relationship but they were waiting for some something. I just heard they were waiting for a, a space. I, don't, I feel like maybe they were looking for somewhere to live. Movement choices and decisions, which is the two of pentacles and shadow. Definitely sneaking around and hiding their plans. There was also an issue with hiding money. I think Cindy had started to hide money. And she was definitely sneaking around. And yeah, there's definitely an affair. There was definitely an affair. Spiritual union and the two of cups in reverse and new beginnings. Hmm. But there was issues in the relationship, like the affair relationship. There was like something that didn't quite feel right. Okay, the feeling that I'm getting from that is like, we're having an affair, we're talking a big, a big, a big game, but we aren't really gonna be together. I just heard it's the th it was the thrill of the chase. Hmm. This reminds me of the um, Suzanne Morphew case.
crown chakra in reverse and material harvest. It was like about money. This is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is like I know. I think Jeff made more money, and that was what was most enticing. I feel like it is like he spoiled her more than her husband did. Like that was the draw. Completion in reverse, acceleration, accelerated motion, which is the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah. This was like, they tried to sneak a moment and then things got out of hand and it happened fast. The feeling I get is like, David had an inkling. Um, And they thought they were being slick, and he busted them. And I think the story that Jeff Sawyer so far is um, accurate, true. Did he? They're saying that David is the one that started the fight. Intuition. Yeah, in the shadow. This is the high priestess. And this is the moon in reverse. Yeah, the like he had a feeling that he accused them. Six of swords, moving on in reverse and intuition in reverse, high priestess. Cindy, she knew that David was going to leave her without a shadow of a doubt. Like the moment she got busted, she knew the relationship was over and she wanted to preserve her stability. I'm wondering if she works. Because like the thing with Jeff is not a sure was not a sure thing. And she knew her husband was gonna walk out and leave her. She may have reacted um, in a way to maintain whatever belongings, possessions that she had accumulated in the marriage. I feel like she was going to be broke. A chakra and six of swords. Moving on. Yeah, like, I can't let him leave me. I'm wondering... It's not feeling self defensey at the moment. Love begins 
Ace of Cups. Yeah, because I... This affair is not a sure thing. I'm not entirely sure that David stabbed Jeff. I'm thinking possibly maybe it was... Keep hearing like a setup or a farce. Mm. Stand your ground, which is a seven of wands. She was, yeah, she was trying to protect her stability because her husband had found out that she was having an affair and he was definitely going to leave her. And there must be something about lack of funds. Either she doesn't work or she doesn't make a lot of money. I feel like she support, was supported. Positive movement forward. Eight of Pentacles. Emotional loss. Five of Cups. Yeah, I'm disappointed about money. There's also like the feeling that she felt like her sons were gonna like abandon her. Like they would go with their father and she would be left with no one. This is not, this is sounding like um, Not self-defense. Emotional withdrawal. Eight of cups. Yeah, it's like everyone was going to leave her. And I think that even includes... Um, Mr. Sawyer. She would be, she'd be, end up being alone. Not only alone, but also broke. Light, which is the sun. It's like in that moment, she realized where her life was going to go. Like in an instant. Sacral chakra, which is, I want. This is like, I want to change the outcome of loneliness and just heard the word matrimony, base chakra. Yeah, everyone is going to leave me. This is like I have. Everyone is going to leave me. Authority, which is the emperor. Yeah, it's like in that moment, she realized that her husband had taken all the power in the relationship. It was like complete deflation.
He was going to take the money. He was going to take the kids. And she couldn't have that. Trapped in fear. Eight of Swords. The feeling I get is like this lady is a type of person that causes problems. She's like a drama queen, I would say. She creates issues and then she f gets scared about them and she likes that intense feeling. I think that was like what was happening when she snuck into the bathroom. It's like she knew she was going to get caught, but she liked the feeling of uncertainty, but I think her husband told her that he was going to leave for good, and she realized he was telling the truth. This is feeling like a panicked move. Victory and success which is the Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like you are going to walk away and I need to come out on top. I need to do something to come out on top. I think Jeff's lawsuit's a lie. <laughs> Deception and Envy, Seven of Swords. I think she stabbed her husband and he's covering for her. She, I feel like she... I'd like to see where his injuries are because I think that she may have stabbed him so that it looked like self-defense. He was leaving the husband, uh, David. He thought everything was fine, but I think he discovered something related to the money. She had been like taking money or hiding money or spending money um, and lying about it. And he realized it. And when he caught them, he realized that all of his suspicions had been um, realized. And he was going to leave. Like, Seven of Swords in regular tarot is like a man that has swords and he's running away. The feeling I get is like, he may have organized this vacation as a way to catch her. For sure. There's something that he did to catch her. Like he, he, he lied, he was like going along with the relationship, but also lying himself. He was trying to catch her and he did and died for it. Hope. She tried to convince him to stay, star. Hmm. There's like a cycle here of like, I cause problems, I get scared, we make up, I like it. The thrill of the chase. It's like an adrenaline rush. I think they're 
there's an issue with the husband, David. It's like he wanted to catch her. He wanted to catch her, and I think he hoped that she would change her mind. But I think she told him no. Like, I think he may have given her an ultimatum. And she said no. But I think that was like part of her game. <laughs> But there's like something about him walking away that triggered her. Like, but she, at the same time, it's like she said no too. But when he tried to leave her, um, she like turned on him. That is so weird. Okay, conflict and defeat, which is the five of swords. There was like a little, like a back and forth like game that was going on between them. He said, I think he set up this trip to catch her because he wanted to put her into a position where she would stay in the marriage, but she said no. So then he said, uh, well, I'm leaving then. And then, but that's not how this game operates. He is supposed to beg her to stay. But it wasn't like that. It was like she had one opportunity to make her mind up and she said no. So he said no. And I feel like she tried to convince him and he then said no, and she just snapped and killed him. And that's coming through right here. It's like you're walking away. I have to have victory, but then that is met with conflict and defeat. There's a feeling of booze coming through. Like this was all happening in a booze fill fueled situation. Definitely an argument. And I think she stabbed him because she was not getting the response that she wanted from him. Yeah, she was going to take the house, kick her out of the house for a once. Success, which is the Ace of Swords. It's like they both had a plan. They both wanted to win. They both, I think it's like they both wanted to win. And neither of them won in the way that they wanted to win. The argument. And she... Stop him. I think she definitely is the killer. There's something about him continuing to resist. And he was like, she's like begging and he's like, no. And then she thought, well, if he actually leaves me, then I lose everything. For foundation, four of pentacles. 
what's interesting about this is like they had a good life Cindy and David represented here I would say that it was not worth throwing in the toilet flushing down the toilet I think it was just a matter of like boredom the thrill of the chase Heartbreak and loss. Three of swords. Yeah. She was going to kick her out of the house. Everything that they have had built was dissolving. David was going to leave. which is judgment. It's like we both have we both have an idea about the how this is gonna go, but then the truth is the matter is that it's over. what exactly what happened David set up this trip to catch her when he did he asked her to stay she said no so instead of begging her still which is what she expected him to do he said you know what I'm done she then begged him, he said no, and she stopped him. And the rest is just a cover up. I don't believe it's self defense. I believe the wife flew into a rage because she was going to lose everything. Moving on, Six of Swords. Yeah, our good life that we had. You're leaving. Yeah. It's at the bottom. Choose wisely. Seven of Cups. Sometimes this card um, is my cheating card. But I think, like, notice the dock, eh? It would be Cindy, her two sons, Jeff, the girlfriend. All participated. In disposing of his body in that canal. I think that Jeff's lawsuit is correct, except for his injuries. I feel like if he tells the truth about his injuries, then it's no longer self-defense. It's just straight up murder. Like how he got his injuries, then self-defense is right off the table and then he also goes to jail. So he has to stick with that self-defense that he got stabbed by Jeff, but I don't think he did. Our strength. Yeah, he was holding his ground. He was leaving. Transformation, tower. It was like the relationship was this like fully exposed. Like 
all of her deceptions. The plan, it just didn't work. If, you know what, when he caught her and he said, look, either you're, you, we fix this marriage or I'm done. And if she had said, all right, it would have been done deal. But she said no. And he wasn't going to beg her. It was like she had one chance. And I think that's coming through here. It was like, you got, you have one chance. And then it was like, and then it just hit. This is done. Boom. It, everything collapses. I think he thought that, like, David thought that, like, she would be so embarrassed that she would just come crawling back. And she said no. So he, like, called her bluff. And she, she went berserk. Passion ignited, ace of wands. Yeah, it's like, we've had this good life. It's over now. The plan. I think that there was an altercation regarding an affair. I think David was leaving, was going to take everything. She snapped, she sapped him. Um, panic because of the affair. Cindy and Jeff came up with this plan, somehow convinced the sons to assist. And they threw him in the canal. Yes, they did tamper with evidence. Um, but Cindy and Jeff need to be charged with murder. And the sons need to be charged with accessory after the fact. This is all alleged, not facts. Destiny. He was done. This wheel of fortune. Love begins. There's something about like trauma bonding. I think Cindy thought that this this murder was gonna like seal Jeff to her because the relationship was not a done deal. There were issues in the in the affair that made her feel like it might not work out. But it's like this would mean that they would have to stay together. This Cindy lady is sick. Mental conflict. Two of swords. Someone's gonna flip. Someone's gonna start talking. Who? I just heard someone's gonna slip. The girlfriend. The girlfriend, I think. Let me see. Who's gonna slip? Someone is like struggling with this. Someone's gonna talk. That maybe what the police are waiting for. Someone in the group does talk. Why is the girlfriend not charged with tampering with evidence? The 
girlfriend must be spilling the beans. They said it was the housekeeper that came in afterwards and is the one that found the blood, but I don't think that's true. Why is the girlfriend not in jail with the rest of them? Is the girlfriend speaking with the police? Yes, throat chakra. Material and spiritual prosperity, which is the six of pentacles. She's scared that she's gonna go to jail. Six of cups, memories of love. Mm, something happened in the past. I felt like, I just felt like they, when they were kids. I would like to know how long Bailey and his girlfriend have known each other because I feel like she's talking because of something negative that happened to her that she's holding a grudge about. Five of Pentacles. I think the mother may have been trying to separate the, the son and the girlfriend. And that's why she's not willing to and the boyfriend may have let her actually why she's not willing to yeah, pardon me. she's not willing to um, keep her mouth shut there's a grudge and she has decided I'm not going down with them yeah so I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.